In this video, we're talking about the Olympus OMD EM1X and why I think this is a really awesome camera that's built for adventure filmmakers, vloggers, and just anyone who wants a camera that is very easy to use. So yes, this is a sponsored video by Olympus, however, I'm still going to give you my honest opinions about this camera and my thoughts about this camera in terms of who this camera is for. Personally, I've been a Micro Four Thirds shooter for a long time now. I've been using a lot of different Micro Four Thirds cameras, and I think there's some definite advantages for Micro Four Thirds users. It does have a smaller sensor than full frame. However, having a smaller sensor means smaller glass, smaller lenses. So all the equipment that you're using that surrounds the camera actually becomes a lot smaller and it's easier to move and travel with. This is why I like Micro Four Thirds so much, and one of the biggest things that people go to full frame cameras for is that cinematic look. And you can still get that look out of Micro Four Thirds cameras, so that's why I still shoot with Micro Four Thirds, and why I'm excited about the Olympus EM1X. So I have a ton of different aspects that I want to cover in this review, but there's a few things that stand out why I really like this camera. First is that it's very easy to use, and I just like the experience of working with the camera. Second is that it's got a flippy screen, and that is super important for any creator out there because a flippy screen is not something that a lot of camera companies are giving us. So having a flippy screen where you can see yourself is huge. Also, the stabilization is unreal. It's got 7.5 stops of stabilization when you're using Olympus lenses, which basically allows you to handhold the camera and get gimbal-like shots. And then one other thing that for me is very important is the autofocus. It uses phase detect autofocus and the autofocus is very good where I'm not having issues when I'm out shooting and I can actually rely on the autofocus to get the shots that I need. So before we get into the details about this camera and showing you everything that this camera has to offer, let me show you some of the footage that I've been shooting on this in the last couple weeks. So a few things about this footage as you're watching it. Basically, I wanted to show you how good the footage is just straight out of camera. And what I mean is that I'm not using stabilizers or anything beyond just hand-holding the camera. I'm using all Olympus lenses and I'm just hand-holding the camera. And this is the footage that I'm getting straight out of camera. It's pretty amazing in terms of color and then also in terms of just how stable this camera is. It's a complete game changer in terms of getting good stable footage and carrying less gear. You basically only need the camera and the lens to be able to get some awesome looking footage. And one bonus is that Olympus came out with a voice recorder, the LSP4. You can mount this on top of your camera and use it as your microphone for your camera. So there's some definite advantages to using this recorder as like the microphone on your camera. And that's one of the really cool things about this new recorder. It gives you 24-bit sound and it gives you a backup recording, which a lot of microphones don't have that ability to give you a backup recording. So you could be rolling on the recorder while it's filming here and then you always have a backup cool thing about it is that it's a voice recorder so you can pull it off and you can use it to do like voiceovers and different things like that which is huge for creators because creators need tools that do a lot of different things and you know having this setup makes it so that I can just bring this with me and I have a lot of the tools that I need to create the content I'm creating okay so one thing that we need to talk about is like the weather ceiling and basically the outdoor aspect of this camera so I'm out here at Mammoth Mountain I come up here snowboarding all the time I've had the Olympus EM1X with me the entire time I've been up here. It's been in my backpack while I've been snowboarding and I haven't had to worry about it freezing, getting water damage, or just you know breaking in any way because this camera is pretty robust. So this camera is freeze proof, it's weather resistant, and it can basically just handle any sort of outdoor adventure. So you know I've been putting it down in the snow when I'm like getting stuff out of my bag and just you know ice is all over this camera doesn't affect it whatsoever, it doesn't stop recording ever, it doesn't give me errors ever, and also the batteries themselves continue to last even though I'm in colder environments. Typically with batteries, they tend to drop their voltage when you're in colder environments. And I've had this camera out here for about four days, I haven't charged the batteries yet, I've had both batteries in, and I still have about 57% on the second battery, and this is day four when I've been filming and just shooting a ton of content out here with this camera and taking photos and all that. 
So not only is it good in terms of battery life, but in terms of actually being just in colder environments and having issues with batteries, I haven't really noticed much. It's just an awesome camera when you're out shooting in you know, the elements. A lot of other cameras will break. I've had other cameras where the screens will break or the bodies themselves will fry if you get any sort of water on them. You don't have to worry about any of that with this camera. So in terms of a vlog camera, I really like it. And the reason is the stabilization. A lot of times when you're using internal in-body stabilization for vlogging, you get like weird wonky stuff happening up in the corners with like the wobble. So right now I'm shooting on a super wide lens and when I'm moving around, you're not seeing a whole lot of wobble. And that is because there's some dual stabilization going on. You have not only the in-body stabilization, but you also are getting some digital stabilization, which does some crazy magic and it gets rid of all that wobble that you see with other cameras that do in-body stabilization. It just works so much better on this camera, which means that for vlogging, this is like the ideal camera for vlogging. And another thing with vlogging is that you don't actually need a stick to do vlogging anymore because you could just hold on to the bottom of the camera and that's one aspect that I really like about this camera. So I'm not carrying around a Joby tripod or anything like that. I'm just hand holding the camera, the microphone on top, and that's all I need. So this lens that's a 12 to 100 is actually a 24 to 200. So it gives you a lot more range when you're actually working on the Micro Four Thirds system. So for anyone who is a wildlife shooter or a sports shooter, you don't have to have like these giant pieces of glass. And like I said, that's one of the beauties about Micro Four Thirds in general. Now this lens in particular, the 12 to 100 consistent F4, gives you a huge range of flexibility. And this is like my go-to travel lens. This is what I'm gonna use anytime I'm out exploring and I don't wanna change my lens and I just want one system. I'll use the EM1X with the 12 to 100 and basically I can capture anything that I need to and it's even wide enough to shoot vlog content. So you have a lens that basically can shoot everything that you need to. Now obviously having the phase detect autofocus means that my face is always gonna be in focus no matter where we're at, and that's, you know, for vloggers, that's super important. When I'm shooting B-roll, I can rely on the autofocus and I know I'll get good shots because the autofocus just works so well. Let's talk about the colors in this camera. So right now I'm using one of the flat settings. There's two kind of log flatter settings. This one is called flat. And then this other one is the full log setting. And this is gonna give you the most dynamic range, the most ability to color grade in post. The beauty about this camera is that it's got a lot of different color profiles, you have your log, but then also if you want to shoot just in a burnt in profile, I like to use the natural or the standard and the colors out of that, I've been getting some really good results. So this is just the natural profile straight out of camera and this is great to use for vloggers and content creators where you're not doing a whole lot of color grading in post. So this camera gives you that flexibility. You have the ability to do more professional color grading if that's something that you're into. But in general, the color science out of this camera, I've been super impressed with. It's given me very good results and I'm happy with the colors that I'm getting out of this camera, especially in like this natural profile. So with the EM1X, it's got a bunch of features packed into it, but more importantly, I enjoy the experience of working with this camera. And part of that is the way that the whole camera is laid out on the actual physical body. So there is a ton of buttons on this camera, meaning that you have access to a lot of different things at your fingertips and you never have to actually go into a menu system. So who is this camera made for? I personally think for anyone who does like outdoor adventures, basically this camera is indestructible. And one of my friends was working with this camera, he dropped it, the lens shattered a different company's lens, but the camera itself got a little ding, but other than that, the camera is completely fine. So this camera is a beast and it's going to last you a super long time. It's got a high shutter count. So once you make the investment into this camera, it's one that's gonna be with you for a while. I think that this camera is an awesome choice for vloggers because of the flip screen, autofocus, and the stabilization, and just the whole package is you don't have to have a bunch of extra stuff. You can handhold and vlog using this camera, especially because of the battery grip. I definitely think that there is a wide range of people who will really find a lot of use 
out of this camera. And this excites me for the future of Micro Four Thirds. There's a lot of people out there saying that full frame is the way everything's gonna go, but I honestly think that Micro Four Thirds still has a place in the industry. And there's a lot of uses for having a Micro Four Thirds camera. All right guys, I hope this was helpful in giving you some information about the Olympus OMD EM1X to help you decide if this is the camera that's right for you. If you're new here to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do camera reviews, filmmaking tutorials, I do some YouTube training, and also I just like going on adventures, which is why I like this camera. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one.